In today's video, me, Matt, and Steven decided we wanted to play golf with one arm. Six holes, stroke play, boom. Let's get right into the video. Enjoy. Hey, Whoa! Gosh! Whoa! No way. No. Go in. No. No way! All right, so we are out at the par three course today here at Sunflower Hills. You guys have probably seen it once or twice. Hole one is roughly 210 yards, dogleg left. We gotta go over some bushes and stuff. We're playing it as a par four today since we are playing one-handed. I'll probably be hitting driver off this first hole. Same, actually. I wanna win a challenge today. So today we're definitely gonna be aiming right of the bushes considering I don't think I'm gonna hit this over 100 yards, but maybe I will. Kinda curious to see what happens. <laughs> Not even close. Matt, what happened to that head cover? Uh, I may have lost it. Yeah, we left it at the course. That's on me. Yeah, we lost that head cover that he threw and didn't go back and get it, so. Yeah, it's on the first hole, right on the tee box. But guys, I'm cooking chicken. Quick little update. So, we are closing in on 100K. I know I did this in the last video, but... Thanks to you guys, we hit 81,000 subscribers. If you're new here, just know that we upload every other day. The subscribe button is an option. Hopefully we get 200K soon. All right, what club are you using? All right guys, we got driver in hand here, one handed off the tee. I say it goes 15 yards, but it'll be better than Stevens. It's all what club are you using? I'm, hitting it through wood. I'm also probably gonna use driver here. I think that's what we're gonna get the most distance with. Looks like he's going left handed. I think that's the play. I don't know what. Okay, right hand. Right okay, hand. never mind. He's going right handed. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Ah! <laughs> yes! Lord! That was demolished. They ask you how you are, you just have to. <sighs> Sorry, Steven wanted to hit the ball. Just wanna make contact. Just wanna hit the ball. Hey. Oh, yes! Hey! Yes! Farther than Matt, and it's in play. All right, GM Golf going with the driver. Um, Are you going off one right hand? Yep, okay. Guaranteed this goes two yards. What do you think? Five yards? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that was on accident. My hands are so Garrett, what's going on, man? My hand is more slick than I thought it was. This might come backwards if you've seen his latest recent videos. He does hit the ball backwards. It's kind of impressive. Whoa! Is that a little are you far? kidding me? Never. Okay. What color are we using? You still have 200 yards. I guess we'll go 8 iron, maybe? Right. How are you getting enough power with an 8 iron? I'm not gonna try to get to the green, Steven! Oh, I thought it's we were gonna lay strategic. up. That's why he always loses. Ah. Is that a practice swing? No, that's actually an it's attempt at the practice. ball. So now he's hitting his third shot. That's wow. Good. That was actually really solid. And now he's gonna be playing his fourth shot, but he will have a look at the green. Steven, on the other hand, second shot still has, I don't know, 150. I'm getting 8 iron. And it's gonna go on the ground. Should I go with the pitching wedge? All right, he's going with the eight iron, even though he always hits the pitching wedge. Oh! How is this even possible? It's a nice little layup. And Matt, a hundred yards out still for his fourth shot. What's the deal? I think I'm gonna go pitching wedge, just because it's not gonna go very far. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm gonna hit it. And plus, I hit it better than Steven, anyways. Ooh! Getting the hang of it. Steven, Steven, Steven. So much to learn, man, you know? Yeah, I should probably start teaching now. So I have about 75 yards to the green and I do have a chance to actually get it there. I'm gonna hit 52 degree. There's a possibility I could actually make par or even, I don't know, birdie on this hole. I think if he makes birdie, we each owe him 10 bucks. Yeah. Go. Steven actually ended up in the fairway for his third shot. What are you going with? P wedge. Uh, I could have guessed that. Honestly, could get up and down for a par. This would be a tremendous par. Oh, oh wow. No way. It's gonna roll too. No way. Pitching wedge is the club of the day. All right, guys, just short of the green. This one is to get up and down for a par. What? I think Garrett's done this before. And Matt chipping for five. Straight to get up and down for six. Oh, well done. Wow, that was actually really good. All right, so we are all putting up the hill. Steven is putting for four, I'm putting for four, and Matt is putting for six. I'm just gonna set the camera down. My ball is actually in Steven's way, so I'm gonna move my ball. No, he didn't. No. 
Tap in for five, guys. One over, three one. This is actually a really tough putt for a five. Ooh. All right, so after hole one, Matt made a seven, which puts him at three over. I made a five, which puts me at one over. Steven made a five at one over. Steven, do you have anything to say about the challenge just after the first hole review? Still beating Matt, so that's all that matters, right? I'm gonna come back. Mosquito Matt on the comeback. I'm doing terrible, by the way. All right, he's going eight iron. Hole two here is roughly 125 yards straight away. Not really sure how he's planning to get an eight iron there, but I guess he's not hitting an eight iron anymore. Seven iron. Ooh! Oh wow! That was pounded. You need to start playing one arm. Is that a roast? No, you're just hitting it good. Garrett, what are you hitting? All right, guys, Garrett going seven iron. Um. Wow. I got a good kick. So far, so good. So I was explaining to Matt, it's kind of hard for him to get the power like us. All right, Matt with the seven iron as well. Onto the green, is that what's gonna happen? Oh, no way. Woo! No way. What a shot. You keep your mouth shut when you're talking to me, Steven. Okay, so my first golf coach, Bill Rapp, he actually used to have me do this drill where I would swing with one arm. It would either be the left arm or the right arm, or we would alternate and just hit golf balls on the range. I don't know why it was. I think it was just to strengthen. I don't even know why it is. If you know, let me know in the comments, but apparently this is actually good for your golf game. I've, just, I've never done this before. This is the first time. Doing better than Matt. I actually some pretty good shots on hole two here. I'm just short of the green right here, up the hill. Matt is over here, pretty good position. He's actually putting, Matt, with a birdie putt. I could use it, Steven. He's to chunk it about 16 times. And of course, Steven, pin high, but a little right of the green, going with the pitching wedge. He's really short-sighted, actually. He literally uses pitching wedge everywhere. No way. Oh, that was almost so good. All right, Garrett's got a pitching wedge from about 20 yards. Let's see if he can't not chunk this. My bad. All right, Steven's going with the putter. Thought he was going to use the pitching wedge. Putter could be the better play. Trickling a little left. No way. No. Go in. No. Ah! No way. Oh my God. Get out of here, dude. It's a par, isn't it? Steven is about to win this challenge, yeah. Loki. Matt's birdie putt left to right, and then I'm putting for par just right down there. Matt needs this. Did he hit it? No, he did not. Like I said. Like I said. After hole two, I'm now two over par because I made two bogeys. Matt made a par there, which means he's three over par, and Steven made a par there, which means he's one over par. Anything to say about that <laughs> and to Matt? Yeah, I got a couple DMs saying you better win the next challenge, so that's for you guys. Um, you almost broke my clubs. All right, guys, hole two, roughly the same distance as hole three. Steven, are you still going with the seven iron? Yeah. It's gonna go right in the bushes. I'm not even worried about it. Mosquito Matt is gonna be fine, you guys, okay? I just made a good putt. I made par. We're starting to trickle back into the action a little. Steven's gonna shank this right in the bushes. Left or right, doesn't matter. It's where it's going. What are... Oh, whoa. What? <clears throat> Matt, what was that? Thank you. Matt's going with the seven iron as well. Steven absolutely killed that. Extremely surprised that we're hitting good shots today. I know I'm kind of flipping out, but wow. You top everything. That's not a top. It's on the green though. That could come down. Off the green, but still pretty good. That's what we... Not ideal. Not ideal. Can you not stand so close to me, please? Can you not walk so close to me? We should be happy that Garrett's in the bushes right now. We'll finally get to beat him at something. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this. I might be able to get back into play though. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Still going with the pitching wedge, folks. This is not going to be my hole. Still not anywhere close to the green. I'm already chipping for four, but nonetheless. Oh, crap. Go! Alright, we got to put it to double. Steven's ball landed there and bounced backwards and looks like a mud ball. So Steven's right there putting for birdie. I'm putting for double right there. Matt has to get up and down from there. Four par. So it's gonna be kind of tough. We're on a little bit of a downhill slope, lefted slope. So we're gonna open the club face. We're gonna kind of get it lofted up. A little bit of a loft, a little bit of a Phil Mickelson flop shot. We're gonna get right within two feet and we're gonna make the par. 
and Matt. Watch it. Watch it now. Shut your mouth up. What is this, Matt? You look like... All right. Part two. That's what he should have done the first try. Um, he's still got a good look at bogey, though. Steven's going to go ahead and mark my ball for me with a piece of dirt. Really like the strategy. All right. I'm going to try to make this one, too. I mean, I think that's the whole goal of golf. But This would send him to even par through three holes. This would be insane. No. I literally am done. How is Steven so good at this? <laughs> How is Steven so good at one-armed golfing? <laughs> this literally makes no sense right now. Like, serious interview. Quit laughing. How? The last hole, you make a huge par putt. Now you make a huge birdie putt. But I'm going to play one-handed against Matt, because that just seems to work. I would lose. He's even right now. Everyone leave a like for Steven's best performance ever. All right, so boom. G-Money Clark here, ready to putt. He needs this for double bogey. This is a struggle bus. He's been chunking and monking everything, so he's got to make it. Does he follow Steven's footsteps? No, he didn't. It oh, my God. that way. Nice. And Matt here to tap in. This will get him to four over. I'm currently at five. Yes. No way. That was a clutch putt. I actually needed that one. So after hole three, I'm now five over par. Looks like the one hand golfing for me is going downhill. Steven, though. Steven's even par, and Matt is four over par. Guys, I can't believe Steven's playing well. Let's just get that out of the way, out of the air. We need him to start choking here, which I think he'll do pretty soon. Hole four here, roughly 100 yards, just kind of down the hill, pin on the right. Playing pretty short today. Steven, what club are you using? Uh, eight. That's way too far. That's actually long. How do I hit it long? I'm going 9-iron because he launched that. And I usually blade mine. So if I can hit the front edge of the green and bounce the sucker right in the hole, <laughs> hole in one on camera would be legendary. Right at it. Needs to go. Oh, God, that was good. I thought that was going to be good. Good thing they mowed that over there because that was long grass two minutes ago. Yeah, that would have been bad. We're going to try no tee here and just hope for the best. The no tee is not a good strategy. Looks like I'm 55 yards short and right. I'm going to go with the 56 degree here. Nice. Simmer, simmer. I think there's a really good chance of Matt chunking this and literally going nowhere. Hey, look at this terrible lie. He's short sided with the 60 degree. Okay. That was smart. I tried to, yeah, I tried to. Hey, that's not that bad. Just on the fringe. You look like chobbled like, up sand. You look like this grass. Because your game is dying. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't. Steven, are you using pitching wedge again? Yeah. Not good. All right, I just need to keep playing solid golf because I don't want to go off the other side, so I might leave it a little short. Yeah, shot number two. He needs this one to go. On what? fire. All right, dude, I'm going to start playing one hand. Where did this come from? I don't know. I don't know. And Matt's a little longer the green for his third shot. I can make this. Steven made one, I can make one. Think about it. I think it's coming down to you and I just playing for second. Yeah. Go! God, that was a good putt, too. I hope you 17 putt. I'm not using a wooden spoon this time, so I don't think that's going to happen. Right, so Steven Boom just marked my ball, and Boom, GM Golf is ready to putt. Um, he's got quite a lengthy putt for par. It is breaking hard from right to left. A little short, Sally. All right, and Steven down the hill for another clutch par. Putt at par. To stay even par, did he hit it? It needs to go. All right, well done. I mean, bogey's not a bad score. I can't even get a bogey with two hands. All right, Matt, straight away for the bogey. Dang, I, I got a way better putting stroke with one hand. You really do. It's more confident. Way better. So after hole four, I am now at six over par after a bogey there. Matt's at five over par after a bogey there. And Steven is at one over par. This Work. is the first time I've ever had a lead in a challenge. Actually, that's not true. I won a couple. Whenever money's on the line, I always win. This is true. If you look at the last <laughs> challenges, we put money on the line, you always won them. Really? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. That is true. <laughs> well, we didn't put money on this one. He's still winning, so. All right, so I'll clean. You clean the pitching much, because that's yours. Ow. Hey, oh, gosh! Whoa! What was that? It was a frog! It was on my foot! I thought that was a snake! All right, let's just skip the cleaning. Let's go to the I'm next not, one. Hey, I'm not cleaning. You know what? Hold on. There we go. All right, we clean that club. Yikes! 
What happened? I don't know, but my heart is racing about 5,000 miles an hour. It was on my foot! The frog like slapped him and he was just out. Okay guys, on to hole five here. Steven's basically running away with this, but you love to see it. Par three straight away, which is, I don't know, roughly, probably 100 yards. Are you going with the pitching wedge? Oh my gosh, bro! Is that short? No, it's not short! Pin high, he's got a birdie putt again. Why is this happening? He cannot use one hand when he plays me, because that's like a cheat code. That's like an X left, 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 double X, 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 PGA, right? Like X, Y, B, X. You get the free Ferrari or whatever. Remember, like, you can get the plane and you can, like, skydive and stuff? All right, looks like Matt's going with a 9-iron as well. I think that is the play. I'll probably be hitting 9-iron. Oh, I put draw? <laughs> he, That's impressive. He hooked a one-armed shot. I'm very impressed. Oh, my gosh. Hey. And backspin. Backspun a nine iron with a nitro golf ball. All right, Matt, left of the green, kind of hooked it. Not a very good shot. Going with the pitching wedge. So this breaks pretty hard from left to right. There's a big mound right here. I think Garrett's ball is like a really good aiming point, and we're gonna roll right up next to the hole and probably make a pump. Uh, actually, really solid shot, actually. Ball. Steven's going with the putter, not the pitching wedge. Straight away, putt at birdie. No way. Get out. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I can't even be mad at him right now, but he's so good with one hand putting and chipping and flipping and ripping and dipping, ripping, gripping. All right, G Money Clark, boom. He's back into the action here live. It's a right to left, uphill, schmup hill. Left to right. I'm sorry I'm looking the wrong way, folks. Be quiet. Garrett putting one handed, obviously, because that's a challenge. Not even sure what I said. No way. No way. Oh, oh my gosh. What oh, is this? Why? Like, I've never felt confident, usually in a golf stroke, but it's like one handed, so whatever. Just hit it. Guys, first birdie of the day. That gets me back to five over par. Still going to lose. Nonetheless, Matt up the hill for par. To stay at five over. Oh my. That's not very smart. And by the way, Steven marked his ball with whatever that Matt, is. Matt, was it in front or behind? It was, it was in front. No. That's fine. It's fine. You're still at two over. Two over, what are you? I'm five over. What are you? He's six over. Oh. <laughs> it's like I'm playing with myself. So after hole five, I am now five over par after that birdie. Still kind of in shock that I made that. Steven's at two over after a three putt. And Matt also made a four to put him at six over par. I guess Matt and I are just fighting for second today. Yeah. Hole six here, which is the last hole out at the junior course. Just down the hill about 85 yards. Pins on the left side. I don't know. I think I'm going pitching wedge here. Steven, what's the deal? Pulling out pitching wedge. Favorite club? He's coming out. Such smooth tempo and relaxed. And it's pin hot. You're garbage. Absolute trash. Your shirt looks like it's bleached. And Matt also going with the pitching wedge. Steven is obviously up there about 10 feet for birdie. Matt, I could see from the back swing that was. Simmer. Simmer. Sit. All right, Matt's a little short, as you can tell, to get up and down for par and to stay at six over par. Oh. All right, actually well done, really well done. So you guys, I'm fine, okay? Might be six over, Garrett's gonna seven putt. We're gonna get the job done that way. Steven's still gonna lose to me in the challenge. Mosquito Matt's gonna take the dub that way. You know I've been practicing a lot for the challenge. I don't play golf, but I practice a lot just to be your... The first time you played golf in like two and a half years. That's kind of true. So that's where my ball ended up, just a little long on the fringe. Steven is left, putting for a birdie. We're both putting for birdie, Matt's putting for par. Honestly, I thought bogey golf was going to be like the winner today, so... I haven't shot below five over in a long time, so to come out here with one hand... Matt for par, he really does need to make this to say it's six over for the match. A little short, a little short, not bad, not bad. Ooh, actually well done. And Steven to birdie and to shoot one over par. No way. Go. If he hits it, it's in. Yeah, that was kind of ugly little stare. Yep. All right. All right, guys, that is about it for today's video. Steven is the winner of today's challenge with a score of two over par. I knew I had to come out here and get a dub, so that's what I did. I lost. So the total scores of today's round were five over for me, seven over for Matt, and two over for Steven. Steven absolutely demolished. 
It was just Matt and I playing for second place. I think I let you win a challenge today. <laughs> what don't you think about that? So did you let second? Garrett win too? Yes, he did win. Uh, the camera's over here now, guys. Oh, dude, that frog, it scared me. I think that's what hurt your game the most. Touched my foot and I think it just all went downhill from there. <laughs> the match, oh, the match is gonna... big. I'm gonna win, you're gonna lose. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, congratulations, Matt, on losing. Don't shake my hand, you better not, okay? I'm gonna shake your hand anyway, see ya. Why do you always talk? Why are you looking at me? Still. You... Oh. Oh.